Hello everyone, Ilya Marchenko here, your favorite tennis YouTuber. Have you noticed that Australian tennis players are a bit crazy? Don't want to mention any names here, but you should kind of guess who I'm talking about. But do you actually know how difficult it is to be a tennis pro from Australia, especially these days? With world pandemic going on and stuff, they can't go back home for almost a year. So I've talked to a couple of my Australian friends about it. Two friends to be exact, and not the one you think of. But these two are crazy enough as well. Everybody call you JP, but why? Why do people call you JP? Because uh, it's short. It's shorter than my long my uh, first name. What is your first name? Jean Patrick. Okay, John and then Patrick. Patrick. Okay, who is Patrick? Me. Morning, Patrick. So your parents couldn't figure out which which name to choose, and they just put two. I think they. They decided John's too original, so if they put a hyphen and put Patrick in it, then it sounds more like exotic. So you are exotic then? Exotic name, yeah. Okay. Today we are talking about mental health. Uh, when was the last time you yeah, you was to Australia? Oh, it was, um, my home is Brisbane. It was January the 14th. I had to get down to the Melbourne bubble pretty early. Well, it's a pretty long time. Uh, could you explain to uh, me why? I mean, I know why, but maybe my viewers, uh, they're not educated on this matter as I do. Yeah, look, our country doesn't let me in pretty much. The answer is no. It's a 14-day hard quarantine, obviously with COVID. Our country being an island, they've been very strict and you do 14 days in a hotel room, no windows that open. It's, um, it's tragic and not so good for your tennis. We saw some tennis players at the Australian Open struggling of not being able to get outside. And so I just haven't had the opportunity to get home yet. And flights are like $25,000 right now. So, um, And everything you, you have to pay for this hotel yourself? Yeah, that's another 3000 So we're looking at twenty eight grand to get home and, and then two weeks and then probably on a plane out of there the next day because uh, unfortunately I've got to make a few more points. But it's because of pandemics, right? Uh, what about before pandemics? Yeah, look, as an Australian tennis player, it's part of the job. You know, you have to do a lot of travel. Um, How much time you would normally spend? I think uh, probably like six to seven weeks, like two weeks after like Miami and then a couple of weeks after Wimbledon and then maybe one more time after the US Open. So, but those little things can really help you, you know, those little time off can, can really help you on a, the mental side. Yeah, yeah, I was uh, on a trip for six weeks in States and yeah. I was getting crazy <laughs> already. Uh, do you think this is the reason why you Australian tennis players are all a bit uh, crazy? Yeah, probably. I mean, some, some not no, even a little. Some are even more crazy than others, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. I'm, I'm not pointing any fingers, not looking at you, Bernie. Um, but look, some of the players are a little bit more crazy. But yeah, look, oh, I think this year it's, it's made everyone just uh, on edge a little bit and um, yeah, look, I'll be the first to admit I'm a little bit homesick and I'm probably, I'm normally pretty tame, but maybe I'm turning into a bit of a Bernie. Don't play tennis. Uh, do you have a wife or girlfriend traveling with you? I do, so I'm lucky with that. I've got my missus, my partner. She's uh, been with me for a long time. In the last couple of years, she's been able to travel with me. So that helps, but as you know, it's, it's not. Is she Australian? No, she's German. Yeah, she's German. Ah, but... smart guy, smart yeah, guy. That's yeah. a smart decision. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. I don't tell her this, but I'm trying not to learn German because I want to end up in Australia when I finish playing tennis. But let's, well, uh, let's yeah. she never watches this. Like... Uh, yeah, I don't have enough viewers. So she will never see this. So I don't know. Don't, don't she's worry she's about German. That. She's efficient. She knows where I'm at. <laughs> okay. How do you deal with this in, in general? Do you have a base in Europe or somewhere? Um, not really much of a base. I've managed to duck off to Alicante a few times this year where uh, a good mate of mine Alex trains so um, that's helped a little bit but yeah the reality is a lot of the time it's been bubble to bubble um, our tournament bubbles are pretty fun place as you as you know it's opening up a little bit more now but for a while there the tournament bubbles were pretty depressing I reckon and um, yeah. yeah some more than others I remember Singapore being an absolute shambles and uh, one more thing uh here in uh, Sofia, I've seen your draw. It's uh, really, really tough. It's and shit. It's yeah. fucked. My draw's fucked. Yeah, and second second round is pretty, pretty tough. Uh, what do you think about it? No, look, obviously I play you, don't I? But um, I know your form, mate, on indoor hardcore tournaments. I know you're the king of fucking Biela, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. But look, um, look, every match here is pretty fucking tough. Every match is, 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 a, is a battle. I know that whenever you play, hopefully I... 
I don't get wiped like I did at Australian Open last round cues. I tried to wipe that from my memory. You still, you still remember that? Of course I do. I wanted to qualify, mate, but I didn't get a wild card that year. Um, but look, I, I'm sure we'll go to battle, go to war, and um, shake hands at the end of it and move on to the next tournament. Well, I, can, I cannot promise that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, look, I, I have. There's one person in my career that hasn't shaken my hand, shook my hand. It was in a Busan Challenger, and it was. Uh, it was Ignatic. He didn't shake my hand, so okay. Vladimir. Uh, <laughs> he was, yeah. For sure, he's watching. Sorry, I, I, yeah, I don't know what I did, but. Um, but yeah. he remembers. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> and my last thing, uh, I want to give you a business card of my psychiatrist. Okay, yeah, I, thank I, you. I, I, I can, I can see that. Uh, thank you. Hopefully, that, I don't need it tomorrow after the match. No, I think you need it. I can see that you need it. Thank you. No, that helps. That helps a lot. Is that's it? It's reaction. It's. It's a blank card. See, I'm already going <laughs> loopy. I'm already going crazy, you know? Today we are talking about mental health. Uh, when was the last time you went to Australia? Okay, first of all, Privyet. Um, I know you don't like that word because it's the only word I know in Russian. I'm not Russian. But the only word I know in Russian. Yeah, but I'm not Russian. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ukrainian, you know. Yeah. It's a separate country. Oh, I thought it was the same. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, so what were we talking about again? Mental health? Yeah, mental health. When was the last time you went to Australia? Last time I went to Australia was January 2000... No, sorry, February 2021. Oh, so it's a pretty long time. Uh, but uh, why? What's the reason why you don't get go back like after every week or something? Let's just say things aren't as stable as they are and usually are in Australia. Well, I mean, I know, but uh, maybe my viewers are not as educated, so maybe can you tell us the details? No, I think they would probably they probably know more than I do about it. I try and stay away from it and watch the news and stuff, especially after what's been going on recently. What was going on recently? Oh, a lot of protests, a lot of riots. Anyway, why don't you go back? Man, I could go. I wish I could go back more. But why not? The tour, mate, keeps you on the road. Okay, so it's uh, not because of COVID or something, because of quarantine or something like that? Uh, there's a bit of quarantine. You've, you've experienced a bit of quarantine in Australia before? Oh, uh, me? Yeah. No. I, I didn't play Australian Open. Yeah. I just I, I just, I just lost in the first round of qualities not to go to Australia. That's okay. This year when you actually come, you'll, you'll experience it the first time then. Just a quick 14 days. Don't worry. In and out. <laughs> so you have to stay in the quarantine for 14 days when you come back? When yes, you'd be 14 days, but it'll go by really quick, be really fun. You get to know yourself really well. And how much it usually costs to stay in this quarantine? Depends on where you're gonna fly into. In general, I mean, give me a guess. A couple of thousand dollars, depending on which one you're flying to. Well, I'm sure with your price money, it's uh, easy to afford. So why don't you go back? No, I'll be sleeping in a tent because um, <laughs> I want to. I want to have enough money to stay in the hotel there. But I think it's not allowed. Uh, who knows? <laughs> it d- d- depends on the state, probably. <laughs> okay, but uh, before the pandemic, so how usually, how often would you usually go to Australia? How how many times a year? Probably twice a year. So middle of the year, and then probably at the end. So it's because it's too far and stuff like that. I mean, it's jet lag and everything. Jet lag, you're isolated from tournaments, a lot of stuff like that. So, um, but. Now it's kind of different because obviously we can't get back and we wanted to get back. Okay. But how do you handle it? Uh, do you have a base uh, somewhere in uh, in Europe or States? I don't know. Yeah, based in the States where I went to college at. Um, and that's been a huge lifesaver because if I didn't have that, I think I would really struggle. Especially I don't have a base anywhere in the world, but America's been awesome. Sim trading starts at 0600. Being that long uh, away from home, do you think uh, this is the reason why you Australian tennis players are uh, a little crazy or some players are not even a little crazy, but a lot? Which players are you referring to? Oh, well, Johnny, for example. Nah, Johnny's not crazy. Johnny's good. <laughs> yeah, Johnny is one of the <laughs> good ones, but I don't know. I mean, uh, many Australian players like uh, Nick Kyrgios, uh, Bernie Tomic, you know, and uh, I don't know. Else, do you have any other players? Uh, we have a few other players, yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you name? We have a few others in the top hundred, yeah. Oh yeah, I, uh, I haven't been, I haven't been there for a while, so I don't know, you know. You'll be, you'll be back up next week, mate. 
Uh, no. <laughs> you, you, France next? I don't, I don't play anything last, next week. Oh, even better. That means your ranking won't go down. It'll stay the same. Good. What do you think? This is the reason or not? No, I don't think the reason. I think, I think the reason is tennis. I don't think... I mean, you are crazy as well. In some ways, yeah. yeah. Um, probably not in some ways with the other first, but yeah, some ways. But I think it's tennis that drives everyone crazy. Tennis. So yeah. the reason is tennis. Tennis. Okay. <laughs>